So that brings me to my next question, of course, like as we talked about nuclear bombs and uh, like the hydrogen bomb, there has to be some differences between like a military explosion, explosives to commercial explosives. Would you mind giving us some idea as to what the differences are? Differences are? Sure. So this is something we kind of we kind of implement, we kind of put on this um, in the sense that what are their purposes? What are their characteristics, shall we say? So it's not like something is, you know, purely defined as military explosive and it's only used by the military. We classify these explosives as ones that are more likely to be used in the military versus commercial um, purposes, if you will. Um, so they also have that same, you know, explosive nature, but your true commercial ones, you're looking more at those that are used for uh, a purpose, you know, your mining, um, your construction, you know, you're, de you're demolishing a building. Um, that's where your dynamites come in. I don't think we've talked about um, ANFO, which is short for um, ammonium nitrate fuel oil, ANFO, um, and they say are water gels. So those are ones that are designed for really those controlled explosives. Uh, they try to minimize the damage of the surroundings. Yes, they cause that shockwave, but they try to keep it more confined. You're trying to break apart a wall to expose, um, you know, gold. You're trying to break apart a wall to expose crystals. You know, you're trying to drill a well. You're trying to have that. You want the explosion, but you kind of want it in that controlled area. So those dynamites, those amphos tend to be uh, very forceful, but a little bit more confined depending on the volume you're using. Now, we define your military explosives as those are looking at more, a little more indiscriminate, a little more larger area, uh, a little bit more close counts in military explosives. And that's your, you know, your TNTs, um, your really high melting explosives, those ones that are really looking at developing that shattering capabilities. Those are the ones that are really being used under extreme conditions. And as I said, military explosives tends to be more of those ones that close counts in the sense that they're going to be so aggressive, they're going to cover so much area that they don't have to be spot on. As long as they're close, they have such a large range they're going to um, cause the damage that is that is being seeked over more more of an area. Uh, now, within those those purposes for each, again, so it kind of ties into that as well. So, your commercial uses, you know, that focus, that breaking, that targeted, we're we're trying to accomplish a goal. 